everyone, I'm Megan Olivi, joined by UFC bantamweight Nick Pace. Nick, you had the craziest choke we've ever seen. Everyone in the media room was kind of going nuts. Um, can you go over the details of how you um, set up the choke and secured it? You know, um, well, first of all, I have to give it up to my, you know, my trainers and all my uh, train you know, the kids, guys that I'm training with, Louis Gadano, Jimmy Rivera, you know, all these guys that I'm training with, you know, we try funky stuff. We have fun. That's the bottom line. When you have fun, you know, things open up. So I was just having fun out there. I was a little nervous, of course. UFC is unbelievable, but um, I was just having fun out there, and I was lucky enough to pull it off. Now, was it instinct that took over? I mean, how exactly did you secure it? We had to watch a couple of replays until we finally understood how you choked him out. Well, um, basically, I was just, I was always looking for stuff. And um, my, a couple of fights ago, I pulled off like a flying knee kick, and it just came to me, you know. It's like fighting in martial arts is like second nature to me, I guess, you know, without sounding cocky or anything. But it's like, I guess what I was just born with, and um, it just came to me. I, I don't know how I pulled it off. I was lucky enough to pull it off at, I train things like that in my camp with my, you know, my friends and my trainers and stuff. So it just, it just came out. When you're having fun, good things happen, I guess. Now you said you were a little bit nervous. This was a history-making fight. I mean, it was the UFC's first bantamweight fight. Was it very important to you to get the win? Of course. I mean, like Will, I'm sure Will Camposano, you know, he's an unbelievable fighter, and uh, this was historic for me and for him. And you know, big pro a lot of props to him. Um, of course, this was huge for me. Especially getting a submission like that was unbelievable. So, yeah, just uh, hard work pays off. Hard work pays off, you know. Now, do you think you helped um, secure some fans from the UFC who may not be as familiar with the talented guys from the WEC? Um, I hope so. You know, I hope. Um, I, I love to have people watch me and have a lot of fans, but uh, my main concern is just fighting and having fun. And, you know, fans, people who will like me, you know, are going to like me or they're not going to like me. You're going to have haters. You're going to have people who really like you. Like anyone else, everyone can't always like you. People are not, like, not going to like me. I'm going to have people who are going to really be behind me. So I could just, you know, everyone that loves me, I could just love them back and all the haters out there. Sorry, keep hating. Now, how does it feel to have a choke named after you? I mean, that's pretty amazing. Uh, the choke is named after me now? Well, you said it in the ring. That's what everyone's saying, the pace choke. It's all over Twitter. Okay, um... I'm getting chills right now. I guess, you know, it's the best feeling of my life so far. All right, well, congratulations. That was an amazing fight.